good morning everyone it is now 5 am in the morning and you can see there is a heavy fog so heavy fog and we are going to Jaldapara safari then to buksa tiger reserve and buksa fort by trekking and then to sikiyajura lake for the boating but it's now too cold and I am going you can see it's too much fog here everywhere it's fog Jaldapara Wildlife Sanctuary, situated beside Holom River, which is home to famous one horned rhino and many other varieties and endangered wildlife species. We are going inside the park. Hey, and it will be a great experience. So let's go inside the park. In the British era in 1941, its area was 141 square kilometer. It is now spread over an area of 216.51 square kilometer with more than 160 population of rhino. Other important species include bison, deer, leopards and numerous birds including the famous red hornbill. The forest is mainly savanna covered with tall elephant grass. The sanctuary holds the maximum number of rhinos population. The other animal consists of royal Bengal tiger, wild elephants, deer, swamp deer, hog deer and wild pig. Everywhere only fog and fog can be seen and through the fog we were doing a safari. The road in the middle of the forest was giving a wonderful view and making us excited. And also our guide told us to keep our eyes open so we can spot wild animals in a sudden moment. The fog was too heavy to spot one for rhinos clearly and also the stunning beauty of the forest with peacock everywhere. We were feeling excited to spot other wild animals too. While going to the Holong Bungalow, we spotted one horn rhino but the fog was heavy to see it clearly and peacock on both sides.
we came to elephant base from where the elephant safari starts Going up to the tower to see if we can spot any wild animals from this tower. And this is the tower. Now the climate here is very nice. The watch tower from where one can spot wild animals as far as they can see. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> As I was asking the guide about the price of the Olog Bangalore per night, and I was also planning in my next visit to Jaldapada, I will definitely stay in Olog Bangalore and experience wildlife and nature. Hmm. The journey towards Holong Banglo is itself a kind of safari because you never know when an elephant or a rhino stand by gazing at you. Your exploring will start even before reaching Holong Tourist Lodge due to its wonderful location amidst the green forest. The salt pit right outside the lodge which is maintained by the forest officials. They go regularly and place salt at the pit to attract wild animals like elephant, goat, Indian bison, one-horned rhinos, deers like cheetahs and sambars. Prime attraction of Holong Tourist Lodge is the Jaldapara Elephant Safari. Staying in Holong can be an amazing experience for wildlife photographer and nature lovers. A paradise for the nature lover inside the mystic forest is none other than Holong Tourist Lodge. It's a destination for all people who want to salute themselves from the hostile and bustle of their busy life and to enjoy the natural environment. Per night, the price is 2500 and from this point you can spot many wild animals but the fog is heavy today so i haven't spotted any wild animals till now so next time if you come here then you can spot a wild animal surely as the safari was ending we were lucky to spot bark deer After finishing the safari, we are ahead for boxer trekking and Mahakal Cave of Lord Shiva.